So I have this new program to do uh, set operations. It's called uh, sets. This is the help. This is the man page. And this program allows me to do uh, operations on sets. So sets, uh, that's lines in uh, files, in text files, or uh, bytes, uh, characters uh, in uh, files. So let's give a couple of examples. I have this file here with six lines. And I have another file with another uh, six lines, but they are not all the same. So with sets, I can, for example, take set one and make the union with file set two. And then I have here uh, all the lines from both files and uh, of course, no duplicates. It's a set operation. can also make the intersection like this. Only lines four, five and six are in both sets. Can do an exclusive or. Then we have only the lines that are not in uh, both sets. So lines one, two, three, seven, eight, nine. And then we can also uh, subtract like this. And here uh, it makes a difference what you subtract from what. So here we uh, subtract two from one. So we only have uh, what remains in one. And here the result is different. If we change the order, if we subtract one from two, we only get what remains in two and not in one. So that's uh, the operation on lines. We can also do this on uh, bytes, on uh, characters. For that I have uh, other files. And this one here with six letters A, B, C, D, E, F. And another one with again six letters D, E, F, J H I. And uh, for example, to calculate the intersection, it's exactly the same command as for lines, except that we have to specify that we work with bytes. And now I can do set bytes, intersect, set two bytes, and then we have D E F, the three letters that are common in uh, both sets. So that was for lines and uh, for uh, characters, for bytes. And you can also pass the arguments here, the content of files, not with files itself, but with uh, here documents like this. So let's again do a byte operation and you specify this uh, with a hash. And uh, here on my Mac, I have to escape that character. And then I can, for example, say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. And I'm going to subtract. One, two, three, four, five. Well, let's change the order. Five, four, three, two, one, like this. So and what remains is six, seven, eight, nine, zero.